Today I'm going to be drawing Burak from the series Safir. It's a new Turkish series that's pretty popular at the moment and I'm really excited because I'm actually watching this show and it is so good. The actors are amazing and the storyline. I love to draw Turkish actors and actresses that I'm actually watching because I can really connect with the character while I, while I draw them. I'm going to show you the process of how I draw. So picking the picture from Pinterest, printing, tracing, so on and so forth. We could really help each other and give, you, give each other tips. So if you have any tips and tricks for drawing, anything like that, please leave them in the comments as well. Into Pinterest. I feel like Pinterest is the best place to get pictures of people because once you start searching for something, they give you so much similar things with good quality. Well, decent. I would say decent quality. All of the pictures here saved. I've pre-saved a lot of a lot of stuff um, and I have no idea which one I actually want to choose because there's so many good ones. Now, I'm thinking the best one is actually going to be this one. Just because we can see all of his features like right there and it's a pretty decent photo. It's not the best of quality, but it's not the worst. As well. This one also is a really good one. He has a very intense look on his face. And he, there's a lot of shadows happening. And you can see some lines in his face. I always like to have pictures to draw that have like something like with their like fine lines, wrinkles, dark circles are showing. Like there needs to be something that differentiates differentiates him from others you know what I mean or else if you were just to draw two eyes two eyebrows one nose one mouth and just like his beard it you know what I mean like it doesn't it like it doesn't show him and the details of his face so I always look for the details and the shadows this one also I thought was gonna be really really good but I'm not sure to be honest I'm not sure <clears throat> I actually drew his co-star I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know how to say her name properly but yeah I drew her a while ago she's so extremely beautiful um, but I don't feel like I did the best job I might draw her again this one he has a very intense look to his face and I really really liked it but the thing is this is part of a three-part photo with his co-star and I don't think I don't think it's going to be clear enough. I wanted to kind of get the vibe of his character. And his character is not very happy in this Turkish series. He's quite... Um, he's quite melancholy. Just because of what's happening to him in the show is quite saddening. He's an amazing actor, by the way. Like... I honestly probably think he might be the best Turkish actor I've seen. Like, his acting is just on point. Also, his co-star is amazing too. And if you haven't watched the series, definitely watch it. It's on YouTube. I will link it for you down below. I originally want to draw this fuzz. He has such a, like, dead look sometimes. Because of what he's going through in the storyline, he is, like... I feel like his soul is leaving his body. I think maybe if I drew him again, I might do this one, but not for the first time, I think. I think this photo is going to be our best bet because his features are clearly showing. He has a mysterious look in this photo, but it's not over the top. Like, we can see his features clearly and... Um, I'll probably use other photos of him to get more detail because there isn't much detail in this picture. Like I said, with his lines on his face and things like that. Um, but I think this photo is going to be our best bet for drawing. And um, we'll go from... Yeah, I think that one is going to be the one. Probably going to do a series of this show and maybe do like all of the characters if I can. Um, I definitely want to draw his younger brother, Okan, because he's an amazing actor and he has a very interesting look. I'd love to draw him as well. And I'll definitely draw her, sorry I don't know her name, but in the show her name is Faraya and she is so beautiful, 
such a talented actress as well so i will definitely draw her again i'm gonna save a couple and i'm going to print a couple because sometimes when you print a photo it looks different to what it looks on the like laptop or ipad so i think i'll, I'll print a few and then we'll go from there to do something a little bit different usually what i do is i i print them just on my normal printer but i want to go to officeworks and get them printed there just because i want them to look as high quality as possible and i'm going to print them in color usually i print them in black and white and that's fine just for tracing and then i do freehand anyway but i feel like i want to see all the colors and i just want to try it i just want to see how it goes printing color and if it doesn't work it's fine because I just need it for tracing his like outline and his proportions and then i always do freehand anyway i'm definitely going to see this one how it goes so i'll download that one i really like this picture too originally i wanted to do this one but first of all he's cut off and another thing i don't i don't want to do him from the side i want him to do him from face on so we can see all of his features properly i like the look in, in his eye in this picture but i don't know how it's going to be when i draw it so let's just print this one too and then we'll, we'll see how it goes i'm going to upscale them i wanted to try this i usually don't upscale the images just because um it's just for tracing it doesn't matter but i want to try upscaling the upscaler that i'm going to use i think it's i love image or something like that but there's only a certain amount of times you can use this for free and then you have to probably pay for it but if you've never used it you can i think you can use up to like four images which is what i want to do anyway so go i always use the documents app to download things so i tried a couple of them this one seems to be the easiest upscaler and um the upscale is not very the upscale is not going to be amazing obviously it's not going to be like photoshop or anything like that but it's easy if you're a beginner this is going to be good for you so i'm not going to bore you guys with it it's very self-explanatory you select the images and they upscale i select 4x upscale um because it gives you the maximum upscale that you can get but yeah go for it and try it out you don't have to do this but i wanted to try it this time now i'm on the officeworks um website and we're going to do print and copy and then we're going to do document printing so i do them here because it gives me the whole page not like cut off if you do it um if you do it online and then go pick it up because when you go to officeworks you've probably noticed that when you print something it never comes the full image doesn't come all the way onto the page so that's what i'm going to do now so we go to document print and then we're going to do create a4 and then upload design i've uploaded them and they're loading then we're going to go continue i've uploaded the upscale designs in color and then we're going to go next and i selected this option here no binding and then we're going to add to cart so with officeworks you can get the images straight away but sometimes they do take longer so just keep that in mind okay i'm going to go pick them up and i'll be right back so i got these blending stubs usually i blend out with a, a q-tip but these seem good so i'm going to try them um but honestly guys i didn't really like how the photos came out i shouldn't have upscaled them and I shouldn't have put them in color because for tracing I found that this is not going to be ideal but it's it looks good there but for tracing it's like it might not be ideal because do you see how the color is like it's so dark around the eye that I actually cannot even see his eye crease so that is not going to be good but um, we'll see this is the other one i mean it looks good on the camera but it's very like it's not that clear all right anyway we live and you learn 
this one is definitely not going to be good for tracing because you see how the darkness here cut off part of his face and the reason why I trace is because I want all of the proportions to be correct and then I do freehand so that's not going to be good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my regular printer now and print them black and white and then we'll see how we go printed them and this is much much better so I overexposed it and you see now how I can see the shape of his face exactly this is much better for tracing much much better so that one's really good and this is like the original one that comes out of the printer as is but see here my sister helped me I'm not good with the computer stuff I'm not gonna lie so see here how I can see the creases of his eye and the contour of his face the exact like shape of his chin and his jawline so that's what we need so we're gonna start so this is the paper that I love to use the toned gray by Strathmore and um, you can snapshot this so you can remember which one it is so pretty much it's a gray textured paper but it's still smooth and it is amazing for portraits black white and the graphite pencils on this the contrast you can see here on this girl you can see the contrast of the features of the face so I love to draw on this so we're going to take one out usually what I do is I stick this down because I don't want it to move the whole time I'm drawing this portrait I'm pretty sure that's straight this is also going to be very helpful when we start tracing because we do not want any of the papers to move around okay so this is the graphite paper you can get graphite paper anywhere I forgot where I got this from but you can get them from Amazon or wherever See, this part is going to sit on our paper here and then we're going to tape that as well all right then we're going to put this here and tape that as well make sure that's straight to be perfect because we're going to remove that as well now some artists obviously don't like to trace they see it as cheating or they see it as a shortcut that you shouldn't take but honestly if the if your end result is going to be better then just trace it's fine especially when you're a beginner um, tracing for me helps me get his proportions exactly correct so then later I don't have to go back and be like, oh, his face is not symmetrical, his nose is not symmetrical. Everything will be drawn out exactly how we see it on the picture and that's exactly what I want. I want it to be almost identical to his actual face shape. This is a mechanical pencil uh, by Pencil and it's 120 A3DX A315 and it's a 0.5 millimeter. So that's what I'm going to be using. The why I like to lay this down and stick it like this is because when I flip it, I can see and then it doesn't move. It just goes right back to where it was and I continue drawing. So if I need to check it, I can do that. Taking your time is going to be your best friend because I've noticed as a beginner, even though I've been drawing for a long time, but I haven't been drawing professionally, I've noticed that when I try to rush something, it never works. So make sure when you sit down, you have a cup of tea, you have a cup of coffee, you're go you know that you're going to be here for a while, you know that you're giving your attention and your energy to this space. Free your mind completely of your expectations of yourself, the expectations of others. Free your mind of wanting to be something 
and wanting to finish an artwork quickly when you're a beginner maybe later when you are more experienced you'll be able to finish something much quicker and like simple drawings will become like so easy like that but from in the beginning take your time don't rush enjoy the process this is this for me is the best part because i get to enjoy drawing i get to enjoy tracing and also i get to clear my mind of all my problems so definitely take advantage of drawing especially tracing this part you don't really need to think much you just well you do but you just need to be tracing the outlines enjoy the process you know what i mean make sure to leave me a like a comment and if you're enjoying this make sure you subscribe as well because this is my first video my long first long form video so if you guys like it i will definitely do more of these um if there's anyone watching so i know i said i'm not going to draw detail and i'm drawing his hair but um there's nothing in this space and i need to get these hairs in the correct place and if you're a beginner artist you know how hard it is to get hair exactly as it is on the photo drawing beads that is my i think place where i get very frustrated because the bead hairs are so all over the place but yet they're in a specific place you know what i mean so a drawing like this usually takes me I've noticed it takes me about nine days to finish a drawing like this if I draw for like an an hour a day so yeah it's usually like nine hours for me to finish a piece like this love drawing with mechanical pencils I've always liked it I used to have a huge collect collection of pazes when I was younger and that's the only thing I would draw with so pazer is like a mechanical pencil I love using mechanical pencils. I feel like they give me the most control. The way that I draw is very um, incomplete. And I think after drawing for a while, I've noticed that's actually the way that I like to draw is to feel that the artwork is not finished so every now and then i flip it over and i see what's been drawn onto the actual paper because sometimes if you don't put enough pressure like it doesn't transfer onto the paper so sometimes i will go where the shadows are and place them while i'm tracing just so we can get it exactly okay guys so this is where i'm at now with the tracing as you can see i've done his bead his lips were not really working out so i'm gonna have to do that freehand as well um but this is pretty much what you what i've done for now and the rest i'm just going to do freehand thank you so much for watching i'm going to finish the video here just because the video will be too long if i draw the whole picture i'll definitely have the full time lapse of this drawing on youtube and i will put it on my instagram as well um, make sure you follow me on instagram tiktok and youtube um, because i'm going to post daily about the journey of this uh drawing so yeah thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next video